What is up there, YouTube? There's a spotty chicken here playing some more War Thunder. Been playing quite a bit of this recently on my channel. If you want to check that out, click below me. I might have an annotation on screen. Um, yeah, I've been doing quite a bit of this. I've been playing some different countries recently. I've been buying new planes. This is a piloting game. If you haven't worked out already. Um, it's free to play, amazingly enough, on Steam. It's a very good game, as far as I can tell. I mean, I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, so far, I've played quite a bit as Britain, a tiny bit as America. I'm thinking now we are going to give the Luftwaffe a go. Play playing as the good old Germans. We haven't got enough money to. Oh, it says 83 grand, okay. I said 8 grand. So we have got enough, so if we just do this. Um, and try and buy a new plane for us. Always want to dive in with something new to do. Wow, I'm not even level 1 yet. That's. pretty bad, so we'll go with that for now. Don't want to spend any more money. That looks pretty good. So yeah, let's jump in. Same as always, arcade battles to battle. No, nothing really complicated this game, just click to battle and you're off. Picked up my nice plane. Average waiting time of 30 seconds. That's pretty good to be honest. Not bad mouth in Riot, but I was waiting for about an hour and a bit, hour and ten minutes to get into a game of League of Legends last night. Random, random side note there. See, War Thunder won't keep me waiting. And it's still updating this game. So, destroyed enemy ground. It, it, it looks like they, we have tanks and they have... Normally it's almost exactly symmetrical, is what I'm finding weird about this. So, our tanks are converging on this point to take out aircraft guns. And their aircraft guns are taking us down, I guess. So we've just got to try taking out their AA guns. Anti what was the AAA for? Anti-aircraft artillery, I guess. We are in. Uh, these planes are probably going to be naff because obviously I've only just started off. Uh, cannot wait for when I get back to go play another game with Britain. Because obviously, apart from Britain being the best, of course, I have the best planes to them. Oh, it's pretty nippy actually. It's a very sensitive... Uh, rudder? Very sensitive. Oh, almost knocked my guy out. It's funny, quite funny how, how fast it barrel rolls, blimey. But I can't raise the landing gear on these type of vehicles because it doesn't have landing gear, it just has wheels on the bottom. <laughs> Sweeping in nice and low, hopefully do a fair bit of damage to a couple of them. It's only just started out, so that's good. I think occasionally I've joined halfway through a game. I've actually been titting about for so long, I didn't even realise everyone else was getting on with it. Where are they at? Oh, they're sort of taking pot shots. Come on, there we go. That's one destroyed. Oh yeah, I got first strike. And second strike. I haven't really got um, like my someone I know asked me like what tips would I give them. Think about doing a tips video, but pretty much just flying in low and just practice with your aim. Pretty much fly in low. It's easier to aim that way. If you go in from the top, if you fly down at them then you have to like sort of pull up but like if you're flying sort of horizontally along at quite a low altitude it's a lot easier to get some shots off apart from if there's trees in a way like this at which point you sort of want to go down sort of diagonally alright here we go don't really know what I'm shooting at, I'm just shooting into the tree line Hey, yeah I'm doing pretty well here Sort of want to commit suicide to try out the other planes, but I'm not going to. Do. Do I need to be playing in cockpit mute, cockpit mode. It's harder, but it's more fun. Oh, it is much harder. God, look at. Oh, what happened there? Ah, oh, someone shot me out. Bugger. Well, fair play to him. Now I can strike my other planes, yeah. 50. 
bit. I think this is the same. I think this is sort of. I just have the same plane a whole bunch. I think these are all the same planes. Oh, that's upsetting. <laughs> I didn't buy some more planes, apparently. Oh, well, I guess that means I know what the plane is like. But I said, it's like it's steering quite fast, but it does. It's because I was accelerating. So what we can try doing is maybe doing a bit of defensive manoeuvring. These guys are trying to take out our uh, ships. We're going to take out them before they can. What's the scoreboard looking like? I am up there. I am up there. Taking out the most ground units. If it wasn't for that death, I think I'd be decimating the scoreboard. No, we're coming in for you, mate. Let it be known. Nah, you get away that time. We'll let you off. It's much scarier in a biplane than it is in like a um a jet. Not not jets, but you know they're like winged planes, with like s mono wing. I guess would be what they would be called, but they just call them planes. It's got a nice little leather headrest. If you see that in front of me, just in case I fall forward and smack my head on the dashboard. That's a nice feature, isn't it? Oh, they're thinking about me. That's good to know. So whatever this plane's called, guys. Don't worry, if you are piling it and you do have a like sudden crash, it has the world's first ever airbag in it, which is pretty much just a bit of leather. It's probably true, to be honest. There's, that was probably the first sort of airbag. Not in this particular plane, but a bit of leather sounds pretty damn like an airbag to me. Oh, I'm getting a bit low here, getting a bit low. How long? Two seconds. Um, damn. All the information, if you hear me talk about stuff, you're like, where are you getting this from? All of the information is up in the top left. Some useful, some not. <whistles> they seem to be on. Like, the second I kill one of their units, they kill one of mine. They are not letting us take a lead out of this. All it takes, though, is one or two guys to realise that dogfighting is very fun, but playing the objective wins more games. Unfortunately, I don't have any bombs, which would be nice for this. And I think I just touched down. Did I just... I'm going to have to replay that. I think I touched down and bounced back up. Can't shoot back, shoot back. No, you didn't shoot back. See, that was your problem. Grow up here, mate. Gun jammed. Great. Just great. What other views do I have? This view scares me, quite frankly. I don't understand what any of the, like, dashes mean or anything. I'm going to give it a go. I can't see my wings or anything, so I don't know how low I am or anything. Really? No, you don't stop that. I ain't playing like that. See, at least in here you can sort of see the trees for yourself rather than, like, edited onto the screen. Because you don't know where the camera is sort of set on, if that makes any sense. Oh. I saw that a bit too late, I think. I, I lost some mouse slack and I got distracted. No, we are going in order. Why does it always want to jump to the last one? Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Da, da. What song is that? Oh, we're just winning. Come on, lads. Come on, lads. Bottom left is the score. Have we won? I destroyed bomber. I destroyed the most ground targets I've anyone on my team. Oh yeah, you are watching a pro. I can finally take the knot in brackets off of this game, maybe or video. Every time I upload them, I'm like, how not to play War Thunder? Because <laughs> I'm bad at video games. But this one, I actually can play it. 
You've reached a new rank. I got two new planes. I'm probably gonna buy both of them straight away. Um, bomber destroy the most ground targets. If several players have equal number of destroyed targets, the award is given to the one with the biggest score. Reward a thousand lions. Yeah. Yeah. And I leveled up. This will be part seven, and interestingly enough, I am at this very moment on my second screen, uploading part five. Ah, that's interesting. That that's very interesting. Um, right. Oh, what is this? Light fighter by. So this is the only plane I have at the moment. The only plane. I have one plane. One plane only. The thing you told me I'm not that, and this, and I can't get that because it's premium money. It's dirty. Pay to win. We are not going into that side of the internet today. So if I have four slots, I can put one there. Yeah. And I can, if I can figure out how to swap planes. Can't, oh, sod that then. Second, it says you need to pay with premium money on a game. It just makes me very upset. Test flight, change aircraft. There we go. C1L. So is that any different from that one? Or is <laughs> available to anyone? Doesn't even matter. So I can only actually have one of these. Well then, I guess I want that one there and that one there. Wasted a bit of money switching them around I think, but I think it was worth it. Oh my god. That is quite possibly the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Doesn't look very German. This is vi I'm, not, I'm not quite sure if this is racist, pretty much just stereotypical. I always expect the German stuff to be like grey and... Not boring, but very sort of military-esque. Like some of our planes, you sort of think they're like, yeah, it's making it look heroic. But the German ones were like, yeah, do you know what? This is functional. This works. And I think that does not look. That's not what I think when I think of a German plane. Do you know that Mercedes color? Whenever you see Mercedes, you're always in that sort of. You're not quite sure if it's black, if it's a light black or a dark grey, sort of that color. Hindenburg color, that sort of color. Anyway, but yeah, that was me playing War Thunder. Thank you guys very much for watching. I've absolutely loved playing this with you guys. This is very fun. I'm going to go away now and do TF2 Part 2. When I'm recording this TF2 Part 1, is like, oh my god, the timeline for these videos is really weird. But yeah, I'm going to go do that. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe or leave a comment. That'd be great. And I'll see you a lot later.